Hey everyone, Vizello here. So, Apple and their Mac lineup is something that I really do respect. Even though I have disagreed with them in the past, I still really love the Mac lineup and everything else about it. I just think that majority of the things about the Mac lineup are really good. There are some things I disagree with, but still, like, the, even the exclusive apps on the Mac operating system are really good. Like, Final Cut Pro. I love Final Cut Pro. And that might be my next editor. So, it's I don't hate Apple and I don't hate the Mac lineup, but I really need felt like I should ask this question because it's it is a controversial question, but I want to share my opinions on this and start a discussion without starting a flame war, which is probably impossible. But I just wanted to let everyone know my thoughts on this, and that is is the Mac lineup and Mac OS in general dying? And I don't have a definitive answer to that question, but what I can say is that I don't think that Mac OS is dying or the Mac lineup in general. I think that it still has quite a few more years at the very least of support. However, I do think that if Apple doesn't make some major changes, it might be in trouble in the future. So let's go over reasons as to why Mac OS is not dying. So I think that the biggest reason as to why Mac OS can't die is because Apple is built upon Macs. Like, Apple started off with the Mac, and now, in 2018, removing the Mac would be like removing a giant part of Apple, which would be really, really hard to do. Like, Apple is built up upon the Mac, uh, the Mac lineup, and if you got rid of that, what else would you have? Like, you just have iPhones, you just have iPads, Apple Watch, HomePod, iPod Touch, I guess? Like, there's not a whole lot of other products that really define Apple other than the Mac lineup and like it or hate it Apple pretty much has always been about the lack um, the Mac lineup so if they were to remove that it would be a massive part of Apple just gone another reason as to why Apple would not kill off the Mac lineup and to why it would just not die is because it just like the Mac lineup has so many f like supporters and Apple removing that would cause so much backlash against them like i could not tell you how many mac fans would be really pissed at apple if they were to remove and just discontinue the entire lineup because macs have a lot of great features like their exclusive apps are really good like such as logic pro final cut pro they have they're really good for work in a lot of areas and in general they're still very solid machines and a lot of people have just use Macs as their daily computers. So removing that, they would have to switch over to another computer, which that would also be a very risky financial decision for Apple because they still make quite a bit of money on Macs in general. And that's obvious because Macs still ship quite a few units. Like I'm pretty sure Apple shipped around 4 million MacBook Pros last quarter or something like that, which is pretty impressive. But perhaps the biggest reason as to why I think Apple would not remove the Mac lineup from their list of products and just completely discontinue it is because what other professional computers or computers in general would Apple have? I mean, you got the iPad Pro and that's really the only other thing that could, I guess, have something that could maybe compete with other computers. But being honest, it doesn't like iOS is not as fleshed out as Mac OS and Windows. And Mac OS is the only Apple product that can really stand a chance in the desktop and laptop markets. So if Apple were to just stop making Macs, then they would pretty much leave that entire industry. And Apple, like I said, makes a lot of money off that industry. So leaving that would be a very, very risky decision. And I don't think that Apple would want to take that decision, that risk. And I mean, like, can you even picture Apple just stop, just stop making Macs? Like, do you know how many people use Macs? I, like, I know I said that before, but can you just picture Apple doing that? Because I can't. I just can't picture Apple abandoning it like that. However, even though Apple, I can't see Apple doing it, they might have to in the future because with the way Mac is, the Mac OS lineup is going, it might have some problems in the future. So yes, here are some reasons as to why I think that macOS and Macs in general might be in trouble in the future. So the first reason is competitors. So there is quite a few competitors 
to Macs. In fact, Windows has so much more market share than the Mac OS right now that Mac does not even stand a chance when you just compare them side by side. Even though a lot of people use Macs, like when it comes to market share, Windows holds the holds a crown right now. However, the main problem with um, Macs right now is just the fact that their prices are so high. If you want to get a Mac, you have to go through Apple. And that's already one problem, which there's no real way. I don't couldn't see Apple opening up the Mac op operating system to other companies for to use. But like, just because you have to buy an Apple product that they made, you can't build one yourself. And the fact that's like you have Apple pretty much is like the gatekeeper, so you have to go through them to get in. I'm actually editing this in post, and I realized I forgot to mention. I do know that Hackintosh exists, and you can also get used and refurbished. I did mention that a bit later. But the thing is that when you are going through Apple, you have to pay a very high premium, or you can take a risk, and you can try building it yourself. But the thing is that Apple has is really against that like entirely. They will do what they can to make sure that you can't build a Hackintosh. And that's why it's pretty difficult to build a Hackintosh. It's not like incredibly difficult, just that it's not at all like building a Windows computer. It's, you gotta have very specific parts and it's just a lot more strict. And the thing is that majority of people are gonna wanna go through Apple just to get a direct product. And you can't, there's not much flexibility. You just have to get, you have to go through Apple. And like I say later, they're the gatekeeper. They have the key. And if you want to get through, you have to go through them and they can charge whatever they want. But paying such a high premium will turn off a lot of people. So I think that Apple, in the short run, they may see more money out of it. But in the long run, less and less people will be using Mac OS, which could hurt it in the long run, of course, because more and more people are going to be using their competitors' products. And they have very high admission fees. Like, the ver the cheapest Mac you can get right now, new from Apple, is about a $500 Mac Mini. And that's not really going to do you much. It's got a pretty sure terrible specs. So, it's not really that... You don't you can't really get into there on a very small budget. And I know that there's a lot of Windows computers that are on that budget, that are way cheaper than that $500 price tag, that can get you into the Mac lineup. Also, if you look at Macs, let's just say that you want to edit videos on Mac. Well, if you really want something that's going to do it, you're at the very least, you're going to be paying like $1,000, which that's quite a bit. And I'm not going to be talking about refurbish. I'm talking about like, like refurbish and used products. You can get those, of course. But I mean like something that can run like Mojave, something like that. And like new from Apple. And if you want to get in there, then... It's either used, which is a whole different thing, or you could, you know, pay the hefty price of around a thousand, two thousand. It can even go up to like five thousand, four thousand dollars for like the highest end max you can get for video editing and all that. So if you want to do video editing, professional work, you are going to need a lot, a lot of cash in order to get in. And that is the biggest problem with Max because you've probably heard the saying. If it's made by Apple, you can probably get a competitor's product that is the exact same thing, but it's just cheaper. And that's the thing that applies to not just iPhones and HomePods, but also to Macs. And that's the problem with macOS that Apple seems to not be tackling. You see, the problem, macOS is not dying. I do not see macOS dying because it's still growing. The only thing is that macOS is not growing it's not at its full potential. The only way for Mac OS to reach its full potential would be if Apple actually dropped the price of most of their Macs so that they could actually go against competitors' products. Because now, people, other companies are offering products that other people now want. And Apple, you can definitely come in and, you know, convince those people to buy your products. But the thing is that your high admission fees to get into the Mac world is just way, way too high to even have a fighting chance in most areas. Now, if those people have a lot of money, then sure, they may just be fine with going with a Mac. But for in most cases, they're probably going to be totally fine with a Windows laptop that does the exact same thing as your laptop. So, Apple, I don't think that Macs are dying. I think that Macs still have a future ahead of them. But they do have a rough future ahead of them if you don't cut the prices 
and start actually competing because with the prices so high to get a Mac these days, it's really, really hard for people who want to get into video editing, making music, just doing professional work, or even just working on a Mac on a budget. It's just going to be really, it's just going to turn them off and they're going to go with the competitor's products. So Mac is, Mac has a future. But Apple, if you're creating the problems, and although I really do love macOS, there is a lot of different things you could do to make Macs much better products and have a much higher value. Anyways, those are just my thoughts, and this was more of a ramble type video. And if you did enjoy this video, then please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and also let's have a discussion. You just share your opinions in the, in the comments too, and I'll try to reply back to you. Let's, like I said, have a discussion, and let's just try not to start a flame war. Anyways, like I said, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.